I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. Hey there, Internet Keeve here. Welcome to the Cars Keeve YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going over the ultimate budget wash cart version four. Uh, this, like I said, it's the fourth iteration of this. This is the second iteration with this cart right here. A lot of the main things have carried over from version one all the way through here. So as you can see, we are still sticking with G-Technic. We have the mint over there. We have the chemicals, the easy coat. We have W6, W5, W4, and G-Wash on the cart. Now, if you look at the cart compared to the last version, if you knew the last version, one thing really stands out. And that's the green thing right there. That's the Greenworks Pro 2300. The active BE52, she went kaput. Um, only getting about half the amount of pressure, never shuts off, constantly runs. I calculated about 107 hours of usage. It's rated to 100, so I've gotten the life out of it. I have the backup on here because I'm waiting for the active 2.0 to come out, and that will be the next uh, pressure wash for this cart, and we're definitely going to do a review video on that one. The video released just before this one should be on this pressure wash. I'll show you all the numbers there, but I am getting 2.0 at about 1,000 PSI. That is amazing numbers. Another new thing you may see from the front is the backside of a Giraffe Tools uh, retracting hose reel. Uh, it's about 130 foot of hose, half inch hose, so not a ton of flow, but it's perfect for my deionization system because I don't want to exceed 2.0 gallons per minute because I want the resin to work at its optimum. It's just a perfect addition to the cart. It is rather expensive. It is not the most expensive one out there, but when it comes to retracting hose reels, Giraffe Tools is a pretty solid name out there. I knew it would be pretty good. So with how tall this is, I had to raise the shelf up to fit it. So we do have less room up here for the shelf, but it's still to get my hand in there for all the items. And all the items that were in there were small enough to fit through that anyway. So from a water filtering side, nothing has really changed unit wise. We are still running our two GE filters that we have put together here. We come in from this side, out here, plug that, we would have it into the pressure washer. Then we're done with the pressure and go to deionization. We run this right here like that. So you may notice on this side, we don't have the pipe going down into the cart anymore down through here, this hole. I used to take the pressure washer outlet from the back of the pressure washer and then plug it on the inside of the cart in here. That would allow me to use my reel and hose for both the pressure washer and the deionization. Well, that didn't work. The, the spray pattern, the amount of water that I needed uh, for the deionization system to be effective enough and efficient enough just wasn't there. I needed a slightly bigger hose and I needed more flow. So the electrical comes out the same as it does from Active BD52. We have it wrapped around these tornado hooks right here. Just really nice and convenient. Over on the side here, I have these magnetic hooks. Um, they just got a nice little hook on there. Fits this perfectly. Uh, inside the little area here, we've added uh, our ice fishing gloves. This is for winter. Um, it really helps in the winter. Those things, man, they keep your hands warm. It's waterproof. We still have both our rim twisters. Obviously, we still have the beat up one that's for the exhaust. You can see it's even starting to get uh, stained. Uh, and then the one for the wheels right here. We have our SGS 28 gun. The only thing we have done so far since the day we got it, we have put on a new three inch plug on the bottom. It was getting a little worn out, so I put a new one on there. We have all of our lug nut brushes right here. Uh, the one right here with the black, I tend to use this for uh, tire dressing and stuff like that. The other ones for cleaning lugs, cleaning the interior, stuff like that. We have our gauge that we like to use for our videos. Now, the cool thing I like about this gauge is most people put a gauge on the three inch line on the outside going into the gun. This one attaches to the front of the gun. So I can take readings past the gun and right before the tip. Now we have our old shot off valve right here with a quick disconnect on it. And this actually is now the way I deliver the deionization. I just use this to regulate the flow. And I have now graduated to a much larger, beefier shutoff valve. It's about twice the cost, you know, about 10 to $12. But this thing is so good. And look at the difference in the openings. So much more flow out of this larger one. Now, in my opinion, the best and funnest part of the car, these are all the toys, right? Obviously, I said of these earlier, the G-Technic jerry cans, they make it a lot easier. Every squirt is exactly 30 milliliters, so it's easy for me to do my dilution ratios. So I have my nozzle guards right here. These are the ones that I've created myself. I have a video on these as well. Uh, I have the one here, one version where it's much more metal on the bottom, but you can unscrew this right here to get to your nozzle easier to remove it. But to me, it's just a much bulkier version. 
So this is a 40 degree 4.0. So this is my high GPM uh, rinsing nozzle here. So this is my 40 degree 3.0. I use this when I need more power uh, in the stream. Uh, I don't use that really mainly for rinsing, but if I really have something stubborn, I'll take care of it with this. I have a 25 degree 3.0. This basically is for my wheels and tires. We have our Griot's Boss 302 foam cannon right here. This is set with an auto metering tip, a purple one. Uh, and I have W4 from G-Technic in there. Like I said, it's auto metering. I don't have to dilute. This is just straight soap. I filled up to about right here and it probably lasts me at least 10 washes or so, that amount. Then we have an MJJC Pro that has my hack in there where I took the metering tip that's used on the griots and I have it stuck in the hose on this one. Does me the same thing. I fill this up with G-Wash this far and it's just auto metered. I don't have to dilute my ratios. Now over here, this one's empty. This is the MJJC Pro version two. As you can see right here, it's all brass and there's no red plastic inside there. This right here I use when I need to do dilutions or I'm testing a product or something like that that I'm not gonna be using all the time. This right here is my air compressed sprayer. I mix W5 and W6 in here. That's what I use to clean my wheels and tires. So I have it pressurized in here with about 90 PSI with the short shot pistol grip right here. And I just push that button and it just shoots out a mist. Really awesome product. And it, it really agitates and foams up the cleaners. On this side, I just have these bottles labeled Pure W6 by itself and Pure W5 by itself. I used to have double pump sprayers on top of this, but I have now switched to the Solo. So this big Solo one right here, I use this for my easy coat. So I'll put three squirts of that in here and I'll fill this all the way up to here with deionized water. And this right here, you see it, it's battery powered. It flows really well. And what I do is this bottle actually fits these as well. So I'll run some deionized water through the tip. Then I'll move this top. It's got a nice, you know, flexible hose with a weighted ball on it. And I'll just put it on one of these. And then when I'm done with it, I'll spray more deionized water through it to clear it out. And then I'll just put it back with this bottle. I have left W6 with this on and it seems to want to dribble out the top. So that's why I always leave it empty with this tip right here. So this is a G-Technic wash mitt. I have moved it from the back side of the cart to the front. And this really, I mean, this is so simple. If you haven't seen this before, this is basically a hanger. This would screw into the wall and it's just a hanger right here. I bent it straight. I put some polyethylene foam over the top so that way I could, you know, safely put the mitt over there. And it's on just one single bolt. So if I need to, I can swivel it this way. If it's really soaking wet, so that way the water drains down and doesn't get inside this tray or on the cart. We have the same hose reel that we had before. The hose itself is getting a little worn down. I went ahead and I did change the three inch inch disc quick disconnect on this side. I don't use the high expensive one. This is an MTM. This is like 10 bucks with this and the mail plug from the other side. Um, if you ever do change these out, make sure when you're, you're doing the hose connection that you get like a wire brush, clean out the rust, clean out all the old Teflon tape and all that kind of stuff. Put a nice fresh connection in there. I do that once a year. My old one was just beat up. Now we always have a cup and a TDS meter uh, just to measure and make sure that our deionized water coming out is zero, zero, zero. These are our two tools that we use for our filters on the other side. So here is my favorite tool. You can get on Amazon, it's in different branding. I'll have a link below, but man, it's just, it has the millimeter sizes on one side, it has your half inch, nine sixteenths, those types of sizes on the other side. You could pass through, uh, you can rotate it. I use it especially for like my foam can. See how that fits on there perfectly so I can take the nut and bolts off. I can screw it off easily that way. I can get leverage this way. It just works awesome. I also always have two crescent wrenches that I use for like replacing the fitting here. There's one on the hose side and there's one on the other. So you need two wrenches to get you the leverage that you need. We have a small easy detail brush right here. We have the same magnet that we use on the other side for the, the tire brush but I bent this out so it actually can fit this a lot easier. Back side of the cart, this is where the deionization comes out from. We have our easy detail brush, the bigger one that we get the barrels of the wheels with. These things are so amazing and they bend, but it never breaks. They just, it's awesome. Bent this magnetic holder as well so it fits on it just fine. This is the output hose from the pressure washer to the hose reel over here. This, it sits down there at the bottom. Uh, and we have our waterproof shoes that we had for our winter video as well. I keep them on the cart. I use them in the summer as well. I mean, 
it's getting warm right now and it, those things are awesome keeps your feet uh, dry and that way people don't complain on my videos that they see my bare feet <laughs> use this little quick disconnect uh, shut off valve right here it works perfect I just I can put about halfway it's just the right amount of flow I haven't found a nozzle that works that's why you see there's still Teflon tape on here in my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say So here she is set up in action. We have the hose coming from the house right there into the front of the first stage of filtering. It runs out the front. I have that hose right there. It runs right into the pressure washer. And then obviously it runs out the back of the pressure washer through that hose right there to my hose reel. That goes out there. The electrical cord to the unit is running to the front in the house. So here's the one downfall of this unit. See the three second ramp up. Look at the amount of flow right there. That's a lot of water. And it's a really quick stop. It does make a small little squeak at the end, but it's not bad. Now I want to switch the ionization. We turn the water off from this awesome shutoff valve right there. Let the water out. So we'll turn this where it turns off all the water. And we'll flip this on, filter that water. We see how easy this hose is to pull out. Let back a little bit of tension and there we go. See, we can go full, just straight up wash the panel off like that that's awesome but if i have something on here that i want to rinse off real well and not waste as much water i got this pattern like that then when you're done pull just it back in well that's it for the wash car i will try to list as much as i can in the description below like i said before in previous video this car is ultra hard to find i bought the only one on amazon search 10 pages Found it for 99 bucks. You can find it in many industrial suppliers right now for about $500, $600 or certain variations of the same company.
but I hate to say it, but I have not been able to find it anywhere else. So I kind of feel bad about that. People ask me, is there an alternative to it? And I'm gonna try to find an alternative. I've seen a few of them. Uh, if I get enough uh, revenue or whatever to, to pay for one, I'll go ahead and do that. We'll make a video on that as well. I hope you enjoyed the cinematics. I hope you enjoyed the video, the new version of the watch cart. Things have changed, these have stayed the same. So go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. And it's also awesome to be able to, and it's also awesome, to, oh my gosh. It's also awesome to be able to do another video with hype. That video will be going soon. I'll be going soon. It is not focusing on my head. Another thing you may notice is we have a giraffe tool to retract. Another is so the shelf is allows to have a really that also allows us to have a nice stage. That also allows us to have a nice the same ho the so the electrical so electrical run. So electrical, the electrical, oh my gosh. We have all of our lug nut, jeez. <laughs> we have all of our lug nut brush, you keep hitting the metal. What are you doing? <laughs> now back here,